Hello and welcome to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. Today our guest is Father Colin Xavier, who is a Catholic priest in Faulkner, in one of the parishes in Faulkner. And we're going to be discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from the 2nd of April 2017. Welcome to the program, Father. Thank you, Mirella. It's always a joy to be here. Thank you. It's beautiful to have you here. And before we start reading Mary's message, would you like to give our viewers all a blessing? With joy. Lord, bless all our viewers. Thank you for this grace you've given them to be able to watch this program tonight. And may the blessing of Almighty God, through the intercession of Mary, our lovely Mother, come down upon you and remain with you always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And now we'll start with uh, Mary's message from the 2nd of April. Our Lady said, Dear children, apostles of my love, it is up to you to spread the love of my Son to all those who have not come to know it. You, the little lights of the world, whom I am teaching with motherly love, to shine clearly with full brilliance. Prayer will help you, because prayer saves you. Prayer saves the world. Therefore, my children, pray with words, feelings, merciful love and sacrifice. My son has shown you the way. He who became incarnate and made of me the first chalice. With his exalted sacrifice, he has shown you how you need to love. Therefore, my children, do not be afraid to speak the truth. Do not be afraid to change yourself and the world by spreading love. By doing everything for my son to be known and loved. By loving others in him. As a mother, I am always with you. I am imploring my son to help you, for love to reign in your life. Love that lives, love that draws, love which gives life. I am teaching you such love, pure love. It is up to you, my apostles, to recognize it, live it, and spread it. Pray with feelings, pray with feeling for your shepherds so that they can witness, witness my son with love. Thank you for having responded to my call. So it's such a beautiful message, isn't it? The whole thing. It is. It is. I'll start with one sentence at a time and we can talk through it. Our Lady said, Dear children, apostles of my love, it is up to you to spread the love of my Son to all those who have not come to know it. So she's saying here it's, it's up to us to spread the love of Jesus to those who don't know it, to, to be examples, really. What do you think, Father? What, what strikes me always, whenever Our Lady has a message what brings a lot of comfort to me is she always says, dear children, calling yeah. us her children, and we are yeah. her children. And that brings, you know, so much joy for me as her child yeah. to go out to bring others to know Jesus. The other thing, apostles of my love, you know, the same word that Jesus called those chosen band of men. And she's calling us to bring that light, to spread that love. To others who do not know Jesus and I it's very comforting that Our Lady is counting on me on all of us as children to bring joy the joy of the Lord to people who just do not know Jesus as yet yeah it's true it's beautiful Our Lady said you the little lights of the world whom I am teaching with motherly love to shine clearly with full brilliance 
So she wants us really to be, be really like her, be examples for, like her in the world, to sort of mirror what she's doing. Yes, yes. And also because we, because Christ has won us over, Christ has saved us by his blood, his suffering, death and resurrection. Um, and Jesus wants us to be lights. And Mary is kind of reinforcing that. Be little lights, light be and shine with all that power within you. It, um, you shouldn't be dimmed for any reason, but shine, bring that light to those in darkness. That's beautiful. So uh, us ourselves, we can't afford to let ourselves get into darkness either. Like, if, no. you know, the world and things might happen that, that weigh you down a bit, but we've got to just yes. shake the dust off our feet, as Jesus yes. said, if there's yes. no peace there. Yes, yeah. that's very true. Our Lady said, therefore, my children, pray with words feelings, merciful love and sacrifice. I love how she says, pray with words, feelings, like to, to feel what you're praying, like really feel what we're saying when we pray to make this connection with God, because without that, we don't feel like there's a connection. But if we pray with feeling, I think yes. it's, it struck me that part. Yeah. I think one of the saints, I forget it, who it was who said, um, use words if necessary yeah. like you know when you when you're living the gospel and i think i think if i if i'm on fire if i really love doing what i do, what i do you know there's a lot of feeling and there's a lot of passion in what you do and i think it's this will help me to become more human more understanding more merciful and ready to do any sacrifice that Jesus, her Son and our God, may be glorified, yeah. may live on in, in each one of us. I think uh, that's a great secret. If I'm able to pray and with that passion, I, I come alive. Yeah. You know, and that little light shines bright. Yeah. Mary wants us to be little lights. Exactly. It's beautiful. We have to go to a break now. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Father Colin Xavier, who is a Catholic priest in Faulkner, and he is talking about Mary's messages with us. So welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Mirella. So we'll continue with the message from the 2nd of April, 2017. Our Lady said, My children, my son, sorry, my son has shown you the way. He who became incarnate, and made of me the first chalice. With his exalted sacrifice, he has shown you how you need to love. There, I oh, will just stop it there. Um, so with his exalted sacrifice, he's shown us how we need to love. Sometimes there's burdens in our life and, and we have to carry that cross and, and still love. Isn't that right? Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh. Jesus has shown us the way. That's what Mary, telling, Mary is telling us. He has shown you the way. Continue with the message. As Jesus has shown me the way, I am called to show others the way to Jesus. Yeah. And what I love is, as Mary says, he has made me the first chalice because she carried him yeah. in her womb for nine months. Exactly. Her yes brought this uh, great saviour of the world, this great sacrifice. Yeah. You know? um, and I, I think that's so beautiful for me. Yeah, it is very and, beautiful. Uh, I think I'm called to carry Jesus in yeah. turn yeah. to the rest of the world, to those who just don't know him, and to set others who know him still on fire. Yeah. Still on fire, I think. Yeah, 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 that's beautiful. Our Lady said as well, Therefore, my children, do not be afraid to speak the truth. And I like that because sometimes, you know, we have to live by example and just live whatever we believe by example. And sometimes we have to speak the truth. Sometimes we have to say, no, this is actually wrong. 
or I don't agree with this or whatever our truth is in, you know, in the moment. Well, Jesus is the truth. Yeah. He is the truth. And uh, we c sometimes we may try to, you know, um, soften things, but the truth is the truth. Yeah. And it is the truth that set me free. Yeah. And that that's what Mary is telling me again and telling all of us, all our beautiful viewers who are watching this program, do not be afraid to speak the truth. Yeah. Because if I'm on the side of tr truth, I'm on the side of Jesus. Yeah. And uh, because softening it or trying to belittle or watering it down yeah. will not s let me be uh, at truth. rest. Yeah. You know, I know there's something missing. Yeah. So I'll have to suffer for the truth, but that's okay. And the biggest truth of all is love. Like that's yes. the biggest thing he wants us to do is love. Yes. Isn't it? Our Lady said, do not be afraid to change yourself and the world by spreading love. By doing everything for my son to be known and loved. By loving others in him. So we have to see Jesus, like loving others in him. So see others, but also see Jesus in them. Yes, Isn't yes, it? yes. I, I, that's very true. Because God is love yeah. and uh, Jesus is the word. Yeah. You know, uh, and has come by his very coming has, helped, has taught me to love. Yeah. You know, he gave his life for me in love. And I'm, I'm called to be able to spread that love. A little while ago, you, you said, you know, um, to be able to, uh, to this effect that you said, uh, I'm called to love. I'm, I put on my guns, I put on my um, prejudice, I put aside my ill feelings, my hateful feelings, so that I will be able to present Jesus to others. When they see me, they see Jesus in me through my, my life of love. Oh, but the scenes have shown us this. Who said that? The guns and what was no, no, that? No, I'm saying. Oh, okay. You know, because I would, I would put down. I think that <laughs> I put put down my guns, my weapons. If oh, the weapon of destruction, yeah. You know, to be able to love, to be able to bring Jesus to others. Yeah. Um, that's not destruction. That's sorry. That's not a weapon of destruction to love. Oh no no no! Yeah. My guns, my hateful feelings my prejudice, these things don't teach me to love. No, yeah, absolutely. They don't teach yeah. me to love. Yeah. So, but when I'm in love, yeah. I automatically throw all these things fall, fall apart, yeah. away from me, and I'm able to see, reach the other person in a loving way, yeah. a kind word, a comforting word, some assistance to yeah. them. Spread Just love. letting yeah. the light of Jesus. Exactly. We've seen through us. And spread love as well, not, you know, for Jesus, for people, but also all creation as well. Yes. All, yes. I believe, like with animals, like I don't eat meat or anything, so I just try to, you know, I know that's not yeah. necessarily Catholic, you don't have to do that, but that's how I live it, I guess, myself. Yeah. Yes, yes. Our Lady says, As a mother, I am always with you. I am imploring my son to help you, for love to reign in your life. Love that lives, love that draws, love which gives life. So, yeah, Our Lady, she's with us. I'm always with you. That's a comforting thing in itself that she says, I'm always with you. Yes, I'm yes. I'm always here. And as a mother, I am always with you. I'm imploring my son to help you for love to reign in your life. Love that lives, love that draws, love which gives life. So she just wants us to love, like love everything, love and draw love out of other people and give love yes. and, and spread the message of just love, like to love yeah, everything. Yes, we find her again interceding. Yeah. She's asking her son, you know, she's interceding constantly, interceded at the wedding feast of Cana. Yeah. She would have interceded in, on many other occasions. We don't hear everything that happened in her life. Yeah. Well, the scriptures give us you know, sufficient knowledge that we may be able to trust Jesus. But we find Mary here, she says to us the message, I'm interceding him. I'm asking my son, imploring him to, to teach us to live in love, yeah. to, you know, to live by his word. Absolutely. Well, we have to go to a break now, but we'll continue with this when we return. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back very shortly. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Morella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Father Colin Xavier from Faulkner Parish in Victoria. And we're discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from the 2nd of April 2017. Welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Morella. I'll get straight back into it. So Our Lady says, I am teaching you such love, pure love. I'm teaching you such love, pure love. So I'll just stop with that there. So she was talking previously about all the, the love, like love which gives, love that lives, love that draws, love which gives. And she's saying, I'm teaching you such love, pure love. So she wants us to really be able to li live love, give love and receive it, make it mutual love with people, isn't it? Right, it is true mm. because uh, oh, Jesus is love. Yeah. And as he emptied himself, you know, with... with, with with no kind of a trap to say, what can I get back in return? No, mm. he just wants us to love. So uh, the more we, we reach out to others in, in a pure um, way, we mm. become more and more like him. Yeah. And that's what Mary wants us to become more like Jesus. Yeah, that's beautiful. Our Lady also said, it is up to you, my apostles, to recognize it, live it and spread it. So to recognize love, to live it and spread it, to, to be those examples in life. Yes, Mary is counting on us, yeah. like Jesus, and is, it is up to you, my apostles. As she said earlier, calling us apostles, the very same yeah. name that Jesus had given his band of men. Yeah. And um, which means I think Mary, because she's our mother, she's, she's so passionate that we, her children, continue to live like her son Jesus. And so here she's calling us the apostles to recognize this love, to spread this love, to yeah. live this love. Yeah, it's beautiful. Our Lady said, pray with feeling for your shepherds so that they can witness my son with love. And when she says shepherds, she means the priests. And when you look at Miriana talk about the priests and the bishops and the Pope, she talks about them with such reverence, such honor. You know, she's it's really, you know, she's teaching us to really, really respect the priests, the bishops, the Pope in, in such a beautiful way. Yeah, she's yes. saying, you know, when she was younger that they couldn't just have a priest over. I think she was saying something like that. It was just, you know, you got to see them at mass and that was it. But, you know, she was hanging, they were hanging on to that because you got to see them yes. at mass. Yes. So I love the way yeah. she speaks about the priests. I, um, Mary is very fond of her priests, yeah. you know, and um, and and I've there's so much joy and um, love that you know just bubbles in my own heart as I meet people, parishioners, uh, people maybe just you know as I bump into them in some shopping center, and so many times this happened, they could be from some other denomination. But they may see this collar, or they see the collar at at, the, um, at one corner, and they come up to say hello to me, oh, and beautiful. they say hello, Father, and where are you from? Uh, or even to say I'm praying for priests. When they tell oh, me that, it's beautiful. so comforting, yeah. and uh, I think we just need to pray for our priests, yeah. um, whether you know they all are not the same, but we are still anointed. Mm. And Jesus has chosen us to be his priest, to, be, to bring holiness to his people, to administer the sacraments to them. And so we, we need our people to pray for us mm. as we pray for our own people as exactly. well. Yeah. So I, I think um, as Mary loves the priest and I as a priest love my people, you know, it takes a, it's such joy to hear people come to you shake your hand and say thank you for the Mass today, thank you for the message you have given me, yeah. uh, thank you for this moment, Father, you gave me a call, like the other day, this man, you know, all these depressions and sicknesses and all this, and I just happened to call him, and he said, Father, you brought a smile to my face yeah. today, and I said, I was so happy, yeah. and I had a little chat with him, and I just think, yeah, we need to pray for a priest. Yeah, I think, well, you're a very special priest, I think you bring a smile to so many people's faces, because you've got such a 
such a warm love in you and an openness to people and it's a real um real gift a real grace that you're that you're like that yeah. it's beautiful thank you and i thought we'll have a little bit more time so we'll read another quick message this is from mary's our lady queen of peace of medjugorje our lady said on the 25th of december 1992 it's just a short one do not forget that your life does not belong to you but is a gift with which you must bring joy to others and lead them to eternal life. I just, I really love that message because it's just like, it's bringing everything very clear. Your life doesn't belong to you. It's a, it's a gift yes. and it, you've got a reason to be here and it's to bring joy to others. I just think that's such a beautiful message. What, what are your thoughts on it? Well, that's very true. Um, our lives are not our own. Mm. Pure gift. God in his great goodness and love for us, or for me, has given me this gift of life. And it's my responsibility to be able to do, live in such a way to bring joy and happiness and peace and love in the lives of other people. Um, as I was uh, thought of, you know, that beautiful movie, Spider-Man, I um, forget what power the actor and he and he talks about his um, the ability to be able to do good you know versus the bad the bad that is going on and and he says um, my gift is, uh, 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 my gift is something special a uh, kind of a, uh, a joy but also with this comes great great responsibility yeah says so this is my gift this is also my curse if i don't use it well you know oh, and uh, yeah. i think this is what you and i and all of us you know are called to bring joy and happiness and love in this world god has placed us in this world with this beautiful gift of life to be able to spread life yeah that's beautiful and spread love to others and that's right encourage yes. others to love as well that's right yes. yes but anyway father it's been lovely having you here on the program would you like to come again next week on oh, spirit of joy. life <laughs> <laughs> with great joy oh that's good we'd love to have you here you've been watching spirit of life i'm Mirella rich and our guest was father colin xavier i hope you enjoyed the program see you again next week Oh, 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 till I be, much breath of the Spirit.